Hi, this is Nolan from Benchmark, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a couple different tolerance settings that you can quickly switch to on the fly while you're surveying. So what I'm going to do to begin here is I'm just going to hit this RTK fix button in the bottom right to show you what my current setup looks like. When I do that, I get my GNSS measurement menu here, and you can see that I've just taken one single shot and that it's accepted it as an RTK fix solution. So I'm just going to back out of this now and cancel this measurement. And then I'm gonna to head to my top right corner here where the three switches are. Click on this and this is gonna bring up my instrument settings menu. And what I'm gonna to wanna to do is I'm gonna to wanna to hit sensor configure here. And you can see here that I have several different tolerance settings. So if I click on my last option there, my RTK fixed option, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change a couple things in here to make this faster when I'm storing a point. So right now I have one observation, which is exactly what I want. I don't wanna take an average for this setting. And I'm going to scroll down here and you can see here under the actions tab that I have tolerance override, auto skip measurement statistics and auto store measurement unchecked. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit auto skip measurement statistics and auto store measurements. I'm going to check both those boxes. And by doing this, what I'm going to do is when I hit that RTK fix button, it's automatically going to take and store my point. I'm not going to have to hit any other buttons. So that means when I'm serving, I can just quickly walk up to my point, hit RTK fixed, and then instantly keep going to the next one. I don't need to make any other clicks. So once I have those selected, I'm going to hit OK. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a second tolerance setting so that I have one that I can take a longer average of a point. So to do that, I'm going to hit my tolerance setting RTK float here, and I'm actually going to rename it RTK average. And instead of taking five observations here, I'm actually going to take 15. Oh, that's a bit of a mistake there. And there we go, 15. And then for my solution here, what I'm going to do instead of RTK float, I'm going to want to make sure that RTK fixed is selected so that this is only activated when I have a fixed solution with my receiver. And then I'm going to scroll down here. And, and since this was previously my RTK float tolerance, I actually have to change my standard deviation for my horizontal and vertical. So I'm just going to make that match my other RTK fixed uh, menu there. So instead of 0 0.1 meters here, I'm going to put 0 0.030 meters. And then I'm going to leave everything else as is because I want to see what my deviations look like for this average point and maybe add a description to this average point. So once I've set that all up here, I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to close out of my GNSS profile menu here and back to the map screen. And now if I hit RTK fixed, since I've edited my RTK fixed tolerance, what's going to happen is it's automatically going to store my point here, which is exactly what you saw. I hit RTK fix, the menu popped up, and then it immediately stored the point. There was no wait in between, so I can instantly move on to my next point. But let's say I now want to take an average of over a point. What I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to my instrument settings menu here. And then I'm going to scroll down here to where it says Tolerance RTK Fixed. And then I'm going to hit RTK Average. So now that I've done this, when I hit RTK Fixed back on the map screen here, you can see that I'm now taking an average of 15 points instead of instantly storing my solution. So if I just let this finish here and store my point, you're going to see that I also now have the option to see exactly where my point was and to enter a point description. But I'm just going to store this point on the map screen here, and you can see that I've got now two points on the exact same point. And that's all for today's video. That's how you can quickly set up your tolerance settings so that you can change them on the fly in the field to find what works best for you. And if you have any questions about anything you've seen in today's video or you want to learn more about Field Genius or anything you've seen on this YouTube channel, please give us a call at 1-888-286-3204 or visit us on the web at bench-mark dot ca